Hi, my name is Yan Chen Wang. I'm currently a computer science student advised by Christopher Kanan, studying at the University of Rochester. Today, my topic is fine-tuning neural networks with online backpropagation. Fine-tuning starts with a general purpose space or foundation model and uses a small training set of labeled data to produce a model for a specific task. Neural network fine-tuning refers to initializing a neural network on a pre-test task, for example, for training the network on ImageNet and then reinitializing one or more layers of the network for the target task of interest. It's a very popular method in machine learning. There, but there is often a gap between a system that has been randomly initialized and trained with all of the data compared to one that has been trained on a significantly portion of the data. In the below picture, we show the gap on the CIFAR10 data side using ResNet18. The left bar is the network random initialized and trained on the whole CIFAR10 data side, which results in an accuracy as 86.89. The right bar is a fine tuning one. We first train on uh, train the network on 50%, which is half of the CIFAR10, and then fine tuning the network on the whole CIFAR10 data site, of which the accuracy we get is 84.74. So you will easily find there exists a gap between the random initialization one and the fine tuning one. One of the major challenges in continual learning is preserving the original performance on initial task when the network updating the parameters with novel input in instances. This would result in cat uh, catastrophic forgetting when utilizing conventional backpropagation. So we hypothesized that an alternative algorithm to backpropagation called continued backpropagation will improve fine tuning of neural networks. And if this hypothesis is correct, then continued backpropagation may yield significant gains when combined with continual learning methods designed to deal with incremental class learning, where the label progressively grow during training. Here is the experiment. Uh, continued backpropagation calculates the utility of each unit in every la layer during training. The algorithm values each unit's contribution to the next layer and replaces the low utility units and reinitializes their weights. We firstly examined the continued backpropagation on permutated amnest. We did one permutation after presenting them all, thus become a continuous cycle with new data. Here, the picture shows that the online accuracy significantly decreases when the network receives more novel inputs. Then, in this picture, we did a comparison between the convention backprop and continued backprop on permutated amnest, which continued backprop shows a much better performance. Furthermore, we access uh, we assess continued backpropagation for its ability to improve fine tuning of networks. We implement the continued backpropagation on CIFAR10 fine tuning. We use a MLP network with three hidden layers and 2,000 units in each layer and replace low utility units, weights, and bias using timing initialization. The results shows that the continued backprop reduces the gap between the fine tuning and uh, random initialization. In conclusion, the continued backprop is an efficient tool to update the network and make the system become robust. It has great potential to further improve the fine-tuning network. Thank you for your listening.